All right, so today what we have is a little project at the house that I've been meaning to do for a while. So my bathroom sink, uh, built this bathroom, remodeled it I guess back in 2012. And really it's been very good and haven't had any significant issues with it. Uh, right now I've got the water shut off, just in case, because I'm going to be disconnecting the drain. What it happens over the years, this thing has kind of gotten to where it doesn't really work with the thing. And it's uh, it's gotten slow, so I'm sure it's just kind of crudded up, built up with goo over the years in there. So what we're going to do, we're going to get down in here, and first thing we're going to try to do is just pop the P-trap off here. This is fairly simple. You know, these are just squeeze connections, and this one just kind of allows it to pivot. You loosen this up. You loosen this up, you loosen this up, and this will drop down and come out. Uh, you're going to want to have a bucket or something under here because there's water in that. Uh, that's how it keeps the sewer gas from going back up into your sink. Um, and if I can get that, then uh, what I may do after that is loosen this nut and back this off and see if I can clean out the uh, actuator for the drain plug. See if I can get that working again. So that may just be a rusty cable. I'm not sure. But uh, that's what we're going to do. We have the camera set up on the stand out here. We're going to start taking some of this apart for you. These pipes can be long, as you can see, so there she goes, I'm going to finish breaking this loose. It's, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. can see I've lost the thread into that which still feels good so that should be okay everything else looks reasonable at this point um, not too bad gross because of the buildup over the last 10 years but not too bad so I am gonna pop this off as it is a rubber gasket Thank you. 
once you do that, you push the whole mechanism up through the center. And what you're left with is the plumber's putty that you use to seal that. Okay, so that's still working. But now what I gotta do is take all of this garbage outside and see if I can clean it up. All right, and this is why plumbers can get paid as much as they do. Because they have to handle this kind of garbage on a day-to-day -day basis. And you can see this thing isn't turning. I don't know what's broken, but that's why that's not working. But look at this mess. This is pretty awful. But again, eight years. I'm gonna go get some needle nose to be able to clean the gunk out of this thing, which is why it's moving slow. Be right back. So that's about as good as it's gonna get for that piece. Everything kind of works. This thing here is a little stiff, but it does function again. So, We'll see how that goes. So that piece is done. Now we basically have to do the same thing. All the rest of this crap. All right, so now I just gotta go get some plumber's putty, which is some sealant that's used to seal this part of the drain to the sink when you compress it down there so it doesn't leak. And the last time I bought any was eight years ago, so I'm sure even if I have any of it left, it's gonna be not really what I wanna use to prevent leaks. Maybe hit these a little bit, but I mean, you can see that's the thing. This is why I don't like chemical drain cleaners because all they do is they sit where the water is. If you have a true clog, then they'll probably help a little bit because they create a lot of heat and maybe melt the clog and, and gravity takes its course. But with what I just had to happen here, because this thing here, because it's so complicated and not straightforward, that's what was plugged up. The drain cleaners aren't gonna get that. <clears throat> They're not gonna touch this at all. You gotta disassemble it. You gotta be able to willing to put the work in or just throw it away, buy yourself a new one if you wanna spend some extra money. But I'm going to go get a plumber's putty for a few bucks. Then when I get back, we're going to put this thing back together. And we should be done. All right. So, got all this garbage cleaned. Went to the Home Depot and picked up some plumber's putty. Really nothing more than super thick clay-like sealing compound. I'm going to put a whole bunch of that around this here before I set it back in. And then when that gets tensioned, it'll keep this from leaking, hopefully.
at least it did last time. So we're going to get set up and that's what we're going to do next. So, got your plumber's putty around that. Refit it down through here. Reattached the drain plunger, which now works again. Got all this back together. It was a little bit tricky. These metal pieces wanted to try to gall, but they didn't. And uh, now we're testing her for leaks. So far, looks pretty good. So that's a fix. So minor plumbing repairs and save you a few hundred bucks if you can pull it off yourself. But if you're afraid of this one, because this can definitely make a mess in your house, hire a professional. Um, you don't need to tackle this on your first chance of trying to fix anything in the world and then flood your house for some reason. And that's, that's just not what you want. It'd be much cheaper to pay a few hundred bucks to have a plumber come out here, rebuild this setup for you if you're having that problem, than to try to do it yourself, because that few hundred can turn into thousands. So, appreciate everybody watching. I'll have the tools that I used available um, on my Amazon Affiliates page, as well as some plumber's putty. And uh, hope I'll see you. Hope you all are doing well. And uh, we'll talk to you later.